we are here live on the red carpet at the premiere of Fading the Movie. Our star actress Tim Dia, she she's she's one of the major cast in the movie Fading. Yeah. And tell us a bit about the character you played. Just tell us a bit about the character. The character I played was about the little girl, a happy little girl. <laughs> Came sad after her finding out that her mom was going to die anytime. So I know, it, I know, child wants that. So I, I just have, to, I just had to. Um, how do I put it now? I just had to feel the same way that I just, I just had to imagine that that was my mom. Oh no! So if my mom was going to be in that situation, I have to act like a person that's depressed, sad, angry. I must say, I must say, you look amazing. Wow. You look good. I know, right? <laughs> so, guys, this is the costume designer of Fading the Movie. Oh, God. So, let me tell you, how, how, how do you feel? How do you feel today? I feel great. I feel, I feel so. I can't explain how I'm feeling right now, so just leave it first. Mm, I know. You feel, you feel accomplished. <laughs> you feel like, yeah, like I feel fulfilled. Like I, see, I know when you eat big, plenty of food and you. Mm. I know that, I know that feeling. Okay, I know I that feeling. I get the feeling too. I get the feeling too. I get the feeling too. And hey, her name is Miss Gertrude Sebi Priye. That's right. So um I wanna ask you, was it very challenging based on the fact that it's it's a movie on cancer? Was it very challenging doing the costume design, costuming the actors? Was there any major challenges? Yeah, I would say that the movie speaks you no know, there's some kind of movie that speaks darkness, light and all that so the movie talks about love and darkness so I it was very challenging to sense that I have to you know mix love and darkness together to force wow. to get that feel that sadness oh, you understand and with the all family they are always happy with themselves and all that so let me say it was really challenging but good. Wow. what's your name Kaiki what, 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 what are you expecting in the film I'm expecting to see all the great acting that Titi, Belinda Efa, and uh, Ivy Okuja Ekutu, because I've seen the trailer of the movie before. Oh, what, what, how did you feel? What, what, what was it like? The trailer was nice, it was good. I saw the suspense, I saw the storyline and, and the acting and the cancer stuff, and the movie has a very compelling story. I've got Bella Ike on the right half and show me. So what are you expecting in the film today? Um, expecting to see my girl Titi represent us women as wow. always. Wow. Yeah, and I'm here. I also want to see um, EVA's performance. Mm -hmm. I saw the trailer, it was really good. I can't wait to see the entire film. They don't mind me. Can we meet you? Okay, my name is Olive Obianuju Mba. What are you hoping to watch? Like, what are you hoping to see when you get in there? Okay, with the poster out here. I think something is really wrong. Someone is emotionally down and the lady looks like maybe she has cancer or something. So I'm expecting to see something sorrowful. So sir, please, can we meet you? Uh, my name is Okese. I'm the founder and the inventor of Power Stove. Ask this, what are you looking forward to see in this movie? Um, suspense, you know. I want to see how I can be wild, you know. Um, our industry have evolved, so I want to see that we are also trying to better ourselves in each movie that is going to be premiered every time. So I want to be taken, you know, at the age of the six, throughout the time of the movie. Mm -hmm. Come in, I'm Omolayo Alabi. I'm a colleague, uh, a friend, a sister of Titi Joseph. What do you have to say about Nollywood right now and independent producers in particular? What do you have to say about them? Well, I'll just um, I'll encourage her. It's not easy being an independent producer. It's a milestone. It's it's a huge um, um, step. step for her and for any other person who wants to venture into um, producing their movies independently. So I'll just encourage her as many as well as others that they should keep it up. And it's it takes a lot. It has a lot of challenges and all that, but. I believe once you set your mind to it, where there is a will, where there is a will, there is a way. Yeah, of 
Yeah. Hello viewers, so we are here with somebody from Mike Omotoshe Foundation, a representative from there. Ma, can we meet you please? Uh, my name is Victoria Adia Yolaito. I'm representing the Mike Omotoshe Foundation. So what, what are you expecting to see? You've not seen the full movie, I hope. What are you expecting to see? What are your expectations? Wow. Um, I was blown away by the trailer. So I am hoping to see um, a happily ever after. I'm hoping that there's no tragedy at the end. Um, I admire the strength of the lead female character. Um, and I'm hoping that by the time we're done, a lot of awareness would have been created and people who may have lost someone or who are going through cancer right now will have the strength and the fortitude to go through whatever it is that you're going through at the moment. It's Regina Tutu and she starred in the movie Fading. Can you tell us a bit about your character Iris? Yes, just a bit. Okay, so Iris is, um, is uh, well, she played um, Evie's or the character, it was um, Evie's character's um, assistant. You know, who's um, chirpy, who was um, in charge of everything that had to do with her writing career because, you know, um, Yves' character was a writer and, you know, and Iris was chirpy, she was, you know, she was a go-to person, she was always on it. So she was someone who, who um, felt it, you know, when it comes to Yves' character, um, her, her um, what do you call it, her career. Yeah, when it comes to career, she felt it the most because she felt like, you know, they were lagging behind and they were going to lose a lot. You know, so she was as tr as much as she tried to be empathic, you know, to her fight. Still, she wanted the best for her career-wise. So she was that person who wanted it, you know, the way it came. It was she wanted it as, as uh, you know, how she wanted everything to still be on point, even though she was fighting cancer. Yeah. Please, let me see, Mister. My name is Michael. So how did you hear about this film? Yeah, I heard from a friend, a friend. and I've been waiting to see the movie. Great, I great, hope great. it's of a great expectation. Trust me, man, you're going to be blown away. <laughs> I can't wait to see the movie, though. I, I can't wait to I see the movie. Know, good, because I've good. heard a lot about the movie and I've seen the trailer. Oh, yeah. But it's really good. It's really good. Okay, welcome back, guys. And uh, this is the thing. I am here with a full famous filmmaker. Yeah, and uh, come on, let's be Mr. Omar Kuma. That's right. What are you, um, you, what are you expecting from this film? Well, uh, Titi Joseph has been a friend and I have watched her since from the very beginning and she is always determined. Mm. For the fact that she produced this film and my friend Shito Tayo directed the movie, That's right. I don't expect anything less than amazing from this movie. Like, And the story is quite touching. Ivia is very good. I have worked with her on a project and she is deep with her mm. delivery. That's right. So I'm kind of curious right now trying to see like this couple of brilliant acts that I know coming together to work. I am kind of nervous trying to see what they will come see, The feeling inside of me is like it's going to be amazing, especially that the, the theme of the movie is sensitive. Ooh. You know, treating a cancer topic yeah. and this is, these are the kind of movies we should be making. Right. Not always wicked stepmother, uh, cheating boyfriend and the likes, you understand? I'm, I'm really close to this story, that's why I want to watch it. So please, can we meet you? Hi, it's Toyo C. It's your girl T.Y. Pretty. You all know me. Um, saxophonist. Um, yeah. So what are your expectations? What do you want to see? You came here to watch it. What do you want to watch? Well, I really want to watch reality actually. Because a couple of Nigerian movies that I've seen do not really have the story. I mean, they will start the story very well. But at the end, you're, you're expecting to see something that you know that is supposed to happen, but then it doesn't happen. So I don't know if this is going to be also a suspense, but I'm not sure. I think this movie is just going to play out really well, like I expected. So, so guys, guess who I have here on my red carpet? CEO, High Definition Film Academy and High Definition Film Studios. Actor, producer, director, acting coach, script writer. <laughs> And the pioneer of script to screen Africa reality TV, Mr. Bright Wonder. Thank you very much, sir, for being on my record. Thank you. And the fact that um, it's one of your people, what are you expecting to see when you go in? Um, first of all, it's not just because um, the producer is one of my alumni, not that. Um, because I also know um, her mindset, the kind of stuff she always wants to do. I also know the kind of person she had around her making the film, talking about the director. I, I know the film is good. I know it's good. From the trailer of the film, I knew they had done a very good work because um, 
it's not just about the it had good production value but beyond the production value i like when trailers have story so the story the trailer tells you that this movie has not just a story an engaging story it was like seeing the movie broken for the first time if you saw the trailer of broken you knew this an emotional flick and that's one thing we'll be expecting from the movie um, 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 fading fading the movie Okay, first of all, I am blown away. My name is Ozio Malkere. I'm an actor and yeah, a producer, right. and um, I am blown away. There is no way you will see this movie and not be blown away. It's Great. the cast, the crew, they did an amazing job, wow. and seriously, this is one of the best. Coming from Abuja here, wow, it's awesome. It, wow, in fact, it will keep you spellbound. You will not want to leave. Like. <laughs> and seriously, my heart goes out to everyone fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. I pray somehow a miracle happens and I, I don't know. Okay, my name is Father Victor Makima Okay. Okay, I'm, that means I'm a Kali priest. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so uh, I enjoy the film. I saw in the film the realities of life. Okay, uh, like uh, the lady said, anybody can just be a victim of sickness. Uh, secondly, then religion should not be commercialized. Okay, then again, the reality of life in the sense that uh, at that same hour the sister gave birth, at that same hour the lady died. Okay, so and that, and that is coming, coming. Okay, yeah. So life is just a mixture of happiness and sadness. And we must just take life that way. Okay. It doesn't mean that God is not at work. God is at work. God is always with us. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. I'm happy I, I came here. Okay. Guys, we have, we have here a wonderful, I don't know what have left my mouth actually. <laughs> Guys, meet Evie. Ah, ah. <laughs> my son, I want to meet you, man. This movie, yes, it's, it's going to create a lot of awareness for cancer to Nigerians, but even beyond that, it's going to educate a lot of people on what to do when that happens. Yeah, you sure. don't have to be the victim to suffer. It's a lot of times, what the person who's going through it, what the person what the person decides to do is going to affect everybody else around them so this this kind of shows how regardless of whatever ailments one comes down with you have to push through life like as long as you're here you have one more day to make it count and and for me that's the most motivational thing ever for us please <laughs> this is so amazing thank you so can we meet you please oh uh, my name is blessing akombe <laughs> so tell me what are your expectations what do you want to go in there and see Based on the fact that it's still just that produced it, and you know her personally. Exactly. Well, I'm expecting originality, and I'm expecting to feel, as the storyline is, as someone that's dealing with an issue like a sickness, so I'm expecting to feel the emotions and everything that comes with being, making it real, so it comes to our everyday life. Yeah. So I was just going to ask you, you've seen the film. And how, what, 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 what can you say about this particular film? And this is like the best movie I've seen in a very long time. As in, I'm amazed. You know, when you're seeing thrillers of movies, you're seeing stops, you, you start having a picture in your head. But when I got in there, I got a different picture entirely. Like, the quality of the production and the storyline. Like, where the story is touching, everyone at home out there need to see. They need to understand what we're really doing. You know, these are the kind of movies we should be doing. Movies that will tell, talk to every home in the country. Okay, we're still here talking to beautiful guests on the show after seeing the movies fading. And I will have here with us, please, what's your name? My name is Alex Report. I'm Abuja's number one social media reporter. And now uh, you've seen this film. How, what can you say about this particular film, Fading? Well, uh, it's quite emotional and something that has so much to offer to the audience or to the, um, those who have taken their time to watch it. I must say it is inspiring. We give kudos to the team, to the director, mm -hmm. and of course the producer of this that's movie. Right, that's right, yes. that's right. So it, you must take a lesson from this movie. If, you, if, if this movie has not impacted in you, that means you need to do a rewatch. You need to have to come back and take your time and watch it. Besides, you must not get every lesson from first um, out and like this. You need to yeah. go out there, buy the movie, for those that want to patronize the cinemas, you have to still go back and also watch this movie again right. in order to digest this and send this message across to those right. that have not had access to it. Right. Okay, okay guys, I have here with me the CEO of 1959 Production, 
talking about Titi Johnson. Yay! Okay, okay, guys, guys, guys. Really, really, I've been looking forward to meeting you, ma'am. Thank you so much for coming around. So, how do you feel this evening, ma'am? Um, I feel really, really happy. I'm glad. Like, I didn't know this was going to happen. Then people just turned out, and the hall was all sold out. Mm -hmm. And we even had to return money because there were no seats. Yeah, yeah. But I'm grateful to God. It was a long journey, but we're here. And I'm, I mean, I'm it's, it's, um, a lot of people have been saying, how, 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 how managed, how did you pull this thing out? I mean, I, I know the grace of God also is there for you. Yeah. It, it has been, just God, honestly, just God. So you, you think this, this movie is like an awareness? to Nigerians after they've finished watching this film? Yeah, because I wouldn't think like having headache could be a symptom of cancer. Mm. So, but watching this movie, you know, enlightened us about so many symptoms that we could actually just, you know, do it. We're like, oh, it's just cancer. It's, uh, it's just headache or something. So, it's good. We should, we should, you know, take, make our health a priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so one more question before you go. Um, how do you, what, what, what was your experience like? Producing this film, what was the? I am so particular about that one, man. So tell us, what was the experience like? Lots of challenges. Just yeah. like planning the premiere came with its challenges. Producing the movie also came with his challenges. But in all, we give God. We give God the that's right. That's right. You must. I must say, man, you're looking really, really amazing. <laughs> My spicy face. <laughs> well, thank you for coming around here, man. We really appreciate. It. Hello guys, so we are back on the red carpet of the premiere of the movie Fading and with me here is Mr. Osaz Iyamu, one of the key cast in the movie. So what, what do you think about the, the, the story itself? I think the story is, is a very sensitive one. I, I think for me it teaches us to pay attention to our health and family as well. Uh, I always advise people you don't have to feel sick before you need to see a doctor. Sometimes just do a checkup so you know if all is well with you. A, a, a doctor friend once said to me that you are not feeling the symptoms of sickness doesn't mean you are well. So I think that is a, a sensitive thing to pay attention to. So uh, it's generally I would, I would advise people to pay attention to their health. Hello guys, so I'm back on the red carpet of the premiere of the movie Fading and with me here is one of the people who managed to pull this through, who managed to bring this event to life, Mr. Shegun Ajayi, who's the manager of the, this premiere. What do you have to tell people that have missed out on this premiere? This movie is going on air very soon, so what, what, would, what do you want to tell people? Yeah, initially our plans was for the whole world to see this movie. We wanted everybody to see, we wanted everybody to learn from it. We wanted the whole family, friends, uncles, aunties to see what it feels like to take care of an ill person or to take care of someone that is suffering from an ailment, you understand? But as God will have it, we, um, of course, we are letting the whole world see it, but we started from here. So we're hoping to expand beyond and then what I want uh, the general public to know is that um, the movie it teaches a lot of um, a lot to the family. It teaches the wife, the children, the husband, friends, aunties how we can cope with people with ailments. 